but approach anxiety. Who struggles with it? Day game too. Everyone, right? Like that's just like a thing. Not you. That's just a thing. You look confident. I stuck. You look fucking confident. No, no more. Hey, hey. No more, no more. No more. No. Only when I hesitate. Hesitation will get you killed. Yes. Paralysis by analysis. Overthinking and getting paralyzed by your overthinking. Focusing, focusing on what could potentially go wrong as opposed to what could go right. So, first, when I talk about approach anxiety, I like to talk about like the mindset of it, of course, which is what everyone likes to talk about. It doesn't matter. Life's not real. What if in 10 years you never made the approach, whatever, fucking mindset shit, but then I like to get into the technique of it as well. When it comes to the mindset of the approach anxiety, it's focusing so much on what is potentially gonna go wrong as opposed to what could go right and what is likely to go right if you've really been practicing this, right? If you've really been fucking working on this, like, I think about every fucking hot girl that I've ever slept with, dated, that, you know, we fucked once, she became a good friend, whatever. All these positive experiences I've had with girls, you need to be thinking of that when you go in and talk to a girl. There's that expression that the brain needs proof, not promises. So once you actually are starting to push yourself to do it no matter the fuck what, clearing your head before you go in and just fucking do it, and you start to realize, again, proving to your brain rather than promising it, that nothing bad ever happens. Like, has anyone ever had anything really bad happen? I've been made fun of, but who, like, what? Then I was, uh, here I am now, oh my god, I'm alive. That's a girl yelling. A girl yeah. yelled at you once. I've had a guy get a little aggro with me, you know, like, like get to my fucking girl, girl, whatever. Yeah, it's actually trying to get in my face. And here you are, alive and well, the sun's yeah. beating down on your face, and we're all having a great time. I got punched in the face. So uh, nothing, stop! Uh, <laughs> we can't talk about Louisville right now. Okay, dude got punched in the face. <laughs> whatever, hey, whatever. Yeah, it was at night time. Wow. So, so it's drunk? understanding that huh? nothing like terrible yeah. is funny. going yep. to happen, right? And that you're going to have a positive experience from it. I'm telling you that you're going to have a positive experience from it and just yeah. saying, fuck it, I'm going to go in no matter what, right? Now again, that's the mindset of what we're talking about here. Mindset doesn't always help. I can't fucking be a thought process into your, into your skull, right? So if you've watched a lot of the videos, then you've probably heard me talk about this, but you've only seen one and, you know, whatever, I don't care how much you guys have watched. It's opening, it's, it's not even opening, it's not even approaching, it's speaking to a human being while eliminating intent, right? So I've got a guy that's on my virtual instruction program right now who he told me that he will go out and it will take him two hours to make his first approach. So like that's not an exaggeration. Like that is a literal, like he will walk around and he's in San Francisco, but he'll walk around for what he's claiming to be two hours looking at every girl thinking like, all right, I'm gonna do this one, I'm gonna do this one. And then he doesn't end up doing it for two fucking hours. And I said to him, I said, the reason why that's happening is because you're focusing on 15 steps forward and all at once, right? So you're so afraid to approach because you're thinking you're, you don't trust in your ability to hold your own within the interactions, right? To hold the engaging conversation, to sexually escalate. But what happens if things start going well and I don't know how to bounce her to the fuck whatever, you know what I mean? You're thinking so far ahead. I view this shit like Halo checkpoints. Have you ever played a first person shooter video game? Anyone, Call yeah, of Duty, of Halo, whatever. Once you make it to that first checkpoint, you die. And every time you die, you go back to that checkpoint, right? You go right back there. So if the very first checkpoint is just speaking to a girl, it's not going in direct and, hey, you're fucking hot. It's not, hey, you wanna get out of here. Hey, let me get your number. It's none of that. It's just speaking to the girl. Hey, real quick, is that still recording? Yeah. Okay, she was watching, guys, for her to make sure. So, if that's the very first step, then just do that and eliminate all intent. So you're not gonna be afraid to just compliment a girl, just to say hello to her, compliment her. Tom Torero calls it hit and runs. I like to call it hit and runs, touch and goes, whatever the fuck it is, speaking without intent. So yes, when you're getting better at game as the conversation progresses and escalates, then yes, you wanna be clear about the fact that like, hey, I'm trying to bang you or date you or whatever it is. But when you're just trying to get to that first checkpoint and you're wandering around San Francisco for two hours and you can't get there, then you have to fucking just get there, which is just, I compliment you. I was walking around Madison Square Park today and I just woken up and I just went for a walk as soon as I woke up and I wasn't 
in my zone, you know what I mean? I don't even like to really call it like being in state. I just wasn't in a social mode of mind. You know what I mean? I didn't want to talk to people. So what I do, I just walk by, hey, I really like your shirt. And she's like, oh, thanks. You're like making people's day and shit, you know what I mean? Some girl was like, oh, I don't know if I want to wear this jacket. And then you compliment her and she's just like, oh, great, I guess it was a good choice. You make people feel good. And by giving that positive energy out, that'll come back to you. So by doing that, smiling, looking a stranger in the eyes for the first time that day, whatever, and not, again, thinking so much about every little step of the way, because you get overwhelmed, right? It's like if your house, it's like if your house, if every room in your house is destroyed, your house is completely disheveled, and you look at it and you're like, I gotta clean up this whole fucking place, instead of just, okay, I'll start with the bathroom, and getting the bathroom done. And then I'll do the bedroom, you know what I mean? Room by room, step by step. Um, does that make sense? Is that, is that like helpful? Like, do you think that that could actually like help you to make approaches, starting off by just talking without any intent at all? Uh, it gets you out of your head. If you're thinking about sexually escalating in the bedroom and you can't even approach a girl, exactly, you're not gonna go anywhere. Like, and, and again, too, like even when I go on this rant, because I talk about this to guys on, on the virtual instruction program, like boot camps I'm doing Columbus, whatever, I go on this rant all the time. I try to even eliminate the words open and approach when I talk about this. It's just speaking without intent. You don't even have to stop just walking by, hey, I really like your vest. And she'll be like, oh, like, usually she'll be like, oh, thanks. And you just keep moving along. Or, with, you know, what Tom Terrell does to each with the hit runs, which is he'll actually just go up to girls and be like, like hey, how are you doing today? And she'll be like, I'm good. Well, I just want to go up and tell you you're really pretty. And he'll, like, just run away from there. You know what I mean? Just to, again, like I said, get to that mode where you're looking a stranger in the eyes, you're talking, and you're, you know, just getting into that mode. You slept all night, you know, if you're going out during the day, you slept all night, maybe you went to your job, your fucking mall center, and you've been sitting in that cube all day or something, I don't know what you do, but then afterwards, you're fucking not, I mean, I, have, I got buddies that are engineers, you know, I've got buddies that are engineers, he knows them, and they, they talk about how they go to work all day, and it's all numbers, and fucking drawing shit, or whatever they do, and they're just uh, zombied out, and then they're like, if you want me to go talk to the girl in the grocery store, how do I how do I go from cold to hot? I snap out of it. Cold to warm to hot. Warm being just 